Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. We begin with news overseas as rescuers continue to dig through the rubble in the search for survivors of a volcanic eruption in Guatemala. At least 62 people were killed when the volcano erupted, sending fast-moving lava through communities. The government is to spend some $27 million to remove zinc fences in Mount Salem and replace them with more aesthetically pleasing material. The Jamaica Social Investment Fund says some 1,000 meters of zinc fences will be removed. The Witton police in Westmoreland have arrested six people in a major security operation. The police say during the operation they also recovered a Smith & Wesson 9mm pistol. Owners of unoccupied houses and unused lands are being cautioned to periodically monitor their properties to prevent squatters from taking over. According to the senior director at the Economic Growth Ministry, Lotharine Scarlett, squatters sometimes settle on properties for years unbothered. In sports, Olympic sprint champion Shelly Ann Fraser-Price says she is pleased with her progress a month after returning to the track, clocking a season's best 11.33 seconds to finish second at the Cayman Invitational on Saturday. In your currency trading today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $127.97, the British pound sterling for $171.38, and the Canadian dollar for $98.75. In your weather forecast, Tuesday morning will be mainly sunny. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers across sections of central and western parishes. And that's it for the Green Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.